Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Mucklelover, and right now we need to talk, you, talk about Wrapped Mystery. It took quite some time, but uh, intelligence services finally managed to find the man who still regularly solves the hardest crossword puzzles in the country with ease. His name is Alan Turing, a mathematics professor before the revolution, currently living in London. He first tried to evade our man, but after some time calmed down, and in fact, he already had a project in mind when all scientists asked him what kind of research he, he we could assist and support to minimum. It all seems very technical, and more importantly, hideously expensive, but how experts assure us that this Turing might be on the right path is something extraordinary. Grant the funds. And also, uh, let's go through a couple of comments, a couple of focuses, but a couple of focuses first. Expand dockyards, which I might read, but whatever. Might have it already. With the Merchant Marine Service established and all Union operated, operated ships firmly integrated, our nation's ports are becoming increasingly congested. With the problem projected to only worsen, we must immediately expand the most clocked ports. Merchant Marine. The British Merchant Marine Service was on the bleeding edge of civilian of shipping administration. During the Valkyrie tax developed by the service to counter U-boat raids kept Britain from terrible starvation, if our republic is to have any chances of surviving future conflicts, we must develop a robust Merchant Marine to both regulate shipping and conscript civilian ships for military service when needed. Republican Marines. While naval power and projection thereof is critical to the military success, our ships alone are unable to invade islands or assault coasts. Few Marine officers decided with the Revolution in 25, and as a result, the Republic's ability to conduct amphibious operations was stunted. If we're to have any hope of confronting our enemies across the seas, we, have a Marine we must have a Marine department. And Britannia rules the waves. At last, the British Navy is beginning to look like its former self. If not already, soon enough, Britain will rule again the waves. Britons never will be. Bad S word, slaves. Republican Air Force. Air power is critical for success in the modern battlefield. Currently, our Air Force or Air Service is subordinate to our Army. And while that ensures democratization, an independent Air Force would certainly be more effective. Thus, we must establish an Air Force, both independent and socialist in character. Just a couple comments. Um, someone asked, is there a focus to actually take out Ireland? Well, yeah. I guess there is, yeah. War. Or words. Diplomatic campaign. If you wonder about that, please go ahead, but... I guess war, technically. The Irish worker, most, much like the English worker, has suffered enough. Revolution has not, however, engulfed Ireland, and so war is needed to solve the current Irish crisis. So... Cool. Well, either way, it is what it is. Doesn't have a total cynical cell. Oh, well, and someone recommends we make 40 combat with tanks, which we're doing really well with. We have armor divisions, and they technically already are 40 combat with. So, and before we fade and fade out right here, just because I do want to do a little more of this off-screen. Casualties. We've taken 100,000 losses, mostly against the Russian state. But, in exchange, we've killed 450,000 of them, so really not that bad. Prussia is about to capitulate, hopefully soon, as you see up there. They're taking 18,000 losses. I'm going to send my tanks up here to Denmark, to attack through here. And the rest of our front line is doing fairly well. Not great, but fairly well across here. So once we actually hit Russia, it'll be crazy, but I'll see you in just a little bit. Inside an enigma. He did it, the exp expletive. He did it. Our leading scientists are cited in today's papers. A small project of this Turing, over time grown into a whole village near the former cottage of Bletchley Park, has finally seen success. He has constructed a strange machine called Pudding, or Pudding, after the Rukshia Pudding Turing was enjoying when he had the idea that it revolutionized cryptography. For the first time, military encryption and decryption are conducted by a machine. This will give the Union an important edge in any military conflict. An extraordinary achievement. Great! Also, as you can see on screen, um, we've actually pushed pretty darn far here. Casualties. We've taken a lot more casualties. Half a million in total now. But we've killed off, like, almost one and a half million Russians. So, we're, we're pushing. We're, we're out of artillery right now, but, eh, it is what it is. Um, other than that, uh... We're finishing up Republican Marines. We'll do return rules of waves. And I do want to do re a few more of these as we keep going on and on and on. Um, another Congress of the Trade Unions. The world has changed in the last few years, and now will be a perfect opportunity to review our leaders. The chairman has calls for elections in all major posts, including his own. Oh, boy. Uh, as well as state of economy. Our economy was enlarged in the time leading up to the war. The extraordinary Congress now has to face a decision of either pushing for further expansion or prioritizing the healing of the wounds inflicted by the war and cut out red tape. Fighting a war often allows for some uns more unsavory elements of the bureaucracy to carve out their own little empires while the government is embroiled in defending the homeland. We need to overcome these war profiteers with all due haste and demobilization program. Fighting the war was hard, living peace will be even harder. A program to ensure a regulated turn to peace production in is in order in Bletchley Park. In the north of Buckinghamshire, a crack team of military intelligence researchers has emerged. Despite minimal funding, the Bletchley Park Electricians Union, in coordination with the Foreign Intelligence Service, has produced singular results. We should expand Bletchley Park's facilities and provide them with a substantial state funding. And statistical warfare. This war will be won on the tables and chalkboards of the mathematicians and researchers. We have to set our priorities accordingly, and Damocles Project, which shall base this new research center in Manchester. This large center of industry will provide ample workers for construction and a centralized or central location 
localization will make it easier to move resources there and total mobilization. Every person in Britain will have to work for the Union. Every second of work for the Union will have to serve it the war effort. Every second of the war effort will have to serve the final and absolute defeat of capitalism and Indian comrades. Britain was once the oppressor of the Indian people, however. The strength of the relationship between our two peoples, regardless of the unfortunate circumstance in which it was built, is undeniable. Through economic assistance to the Bharatiya Commune, we can begin to put right the injustices of history and in the process strengthen the socialist cause. Alright everyone, so it's now May 27th, 1943, in which I've already went ahead and invaded Canada, so yeah, we're doing quite, really quite well. Casualty so far, we've taken 1.23 million, a lot against the Russian state, but we've killed off 2.4 million, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Um, honestly, this has not been too bad. I invaded, of course, Greenland, and then went through, what is this island? Newfoundland, and then tra traveled on over to Quebec, as you can see. We, I literally just took Quebec and Quebec City. Uh, another comment was from yesterday is that apparently it's kind of weird that we do not have, um, you know, a path to reform the Holy Roman Empire. It would be really cool in this mod, Kaiser Redux, but apparently we cannot. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm looking at this stuff because I sunk two enemy Canadian carriers earlier in, like, when I was doing this off screen, but, well, I guess we're gone for now, so. Also, on these 24 divisions, I got. Ooh, actually. Ooh, there's only 20 come with from this group that was helping George Bush. Not helping George Bush, no, but they were like guarding the Isles and stuff. But we need an extra army, and we're, we're still pushing. We're still pushing against the Russians here. Uh, the Russians should capitulate relatively soon ish. 30, 34,000 manpower. They're on all adult serve. They have quite a good amount of equipment, but less than 100 divisions. Wow, that's actually going a lot worse than, for them than I thought. Cool. And we're also trying to get do, continuing on naval doctrine because. Well, naval reduction is super, super important and very good. And we're currently doing attack total mobilization because, well, why not? Why not? Go. Cool. And we do 12 tank divisions. I did delete like one or two of them just because we didn't have enough um, lines and such, but whatever. I definitely need another army here to help take these guys out. But really, I, at this point, I'm just waiting for Russia to capitulate. They should capitulate very soon. It's a bit ridiculous that they haven't yet. 85% of the way there and they're still not done. Um, yeah, I guess technically we need to take out the sublime part or Sublime Ottoman Federation, but Romania's doing quite well, but then again, our third international soldiers are down there too, so yeah. We're not going to let the attack... They've already lost Vladivostok, and they're doing very well against the Republic of China. The Republic of China actually formed. Kind of impressive. Nice. Anything else around here? Not too much. We haven't lost too many ships, even though we just literally lost some guys right there. Can you guys actually win there? Finally, good. So then I can send all the tanks over here. Help hold the line, keep moving in, killing them all off. And this American Civil War is still not finished in 1943. It's about to finish with the American Union State killing off the PSA. And Spain is still in a civil war as well. Jesus Christ. Guys. Guys. Oh, look at all these convoys. Nice. Oh, we did have a big naval battle, which a lot of ships had to uh, do escorting because it was so bad. Oh, my goodness. Let's flip it. Nah, let's go on the offensive, guys. The Canadian Navy is still not tiny, I think. But let's see. How many ships do they have? Convoys. Another escort cruiser, very good, very good. Worker state of Britain, very nice. That's us. Ooh, actually, we can use that right now. Um, you guys, how much of it maybe? 98 ships. They still have no carriers. Great, no carriers. But they do have a couple battleships, dreadnoughts, uh, armored cruisers, and stuff like that, so. Nice. Let's use this immediately. We're we got someone captured here, unfortunately. And go right ahead. Help us out a little bit more, so. It'll be alright. <clears throat> Hey, good, good stuff, good stuff. S43, let's get some more output because we could re really, really, really use more artillery and such like that. Um, where are you at? U7 are doing fine. <sighs> yeah, let's stretch out these lines a little bit more. Actually, I didn't even ask for access through Romania, but they just gave it to me, so. Spread out a little bit more. Keep doing that. You guys are doing great. You actually won down here, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome sauce. And head down here and keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, beat them up, boys. Beat them up. 1v1. We're going to do a great job. Can they actually pierce us? Yes, I can. We're still winning. Go figure. There you go. It's over river, but I better, it's better to do it like that than not doing it at all. Head down here, too, so we can cut them off. Thank you very much. We'll do great. Losses, losses, losses. Awesome. And we still need to invade North Africa, but that shouldn't be too bad, especially since these guys are fighting through here anyway, so we'll see. How strong it is this group, too? 11,000 manpower. Alright, guess we gotta fight them as well, so we don't really care, I'll be honest. We're out of a lot of equipment, like artillery. That's really bad right now, but whatever. Tanks are doing great, though. If they'd move. Hey, another small little task force. Good, good, good. An, uh, an actual task force. Very good. Keep going, guys. Keep going. How many more divisions do the Russians have? God dang it. 79. It takes so long to capture them. 87% of the way there. Come on, man. 
I know these guys are 40 comp within all, but Jesus Christ, keep going. Just don't stop. Japan, you just had to go to World China too, didn't you? Oh, we're fighting New England as well. That's right. Oh, boy. That's not good. I forgot about that. Oh, boy. It's all right. We'll take care of them. We'll tuck them into bed, and they'll have a good time with us. Hey, more Millie's nice. Uh, throw one here. We need more light tanks you can see. We don't need any more guns, really. We need... Actually, we do need more light tanks. Ooh. We need more heavy tanks. Yeah. All right, everyone. So, my apologies about that, but the game crashed, and uh, we're, we're still here. We're still doing a good job with New England, actually. So, overall, not too bad. Uh, we're still fighting the Russians. Yeah, it's just very weird. Sometimes, when the game crashes, the game will crash continually. Hopefully, that doesn't happen at this point. As you see, we're still going in all the way. I'm not loving up the attacks. We're, we're going to take a lot of casualties here, but it will be necessary to destroy Russia, so... Um, it's unfortunate, but Canada has taken a million casualties in total. But halfway to, towards capitulation themselves, the Russian state is where? 90% now. That's a bit ridiculous, I'll be honest. It feels like it's a bit ridiculous. But there ain't much we can do except keep on going, because even though we've already taken Tsaritsyn, Moscow, Petrograd, uh, I guess France has that one. Uh, we're pushing them this far into them. Um, they're still not giving up, even though they also lost a lot of a stock. So, actually, do they even? Yeah, I, think they, I thought they owned a lot of stock in this timeline, so. It is what it is, and Greece died and came back, and they died and they came back again, so. Yay, I guess. And the tanks are still doing a great job in Canada. New England, oh my gosh, you are ready to get encircled. <clears throat> you dinguses. Hey, ding dongs. How about you go this way? Seriously. Total mobilization is nice. And we're gonna go and do Norwegian comrades. Let's do Indian comrades. I already read this one once, if you want to do that again, please go ahead. Boom! God dang it, why did you guys get encircled? Oh, fall something there. You stupid dinguses, why? I mean, you might be able to VP snipe them, but still. At this point, we're gonna call everyone down here and we gotta rescue the tanks. Go, go, go. Operation Tank Rescue, we're gonna get encircled again. All right then. Yep, we definitely need more stuff here. Hmm. Not great. Get out, get out. You have no organization, that sucks. Why do you have no organization? Storm? Oh, that's nice, but still. Medium tank 3 is nice. Fall Sacramento, oh, Fall Sacramento, look at that, nice. Yeah, well, we lost a couple tank divisions down there. I'm gonna kill every last one of them off then. Um, yeah, do that too, cool. Good. And what do we have over here? Nice. A lot of something, but that's alright. Things happen. Alright, everyone. So I reloaded the autosave again, and it crashed once again. Unfortunately, I was correct. And every time, it cr if it crashes once, it'll usually crash again. So at this point, I apologize. We can't capitulate the enemies. I'd love to. But, I don't know. Something's wrong with Kaiser Redux and at the time of this recording. Because all my games seem to crash at the end. And it's really not cool. But, I guess to end this one, because it's incredibly disappointing how well we've done... We can't even capitulate these guys because the game keeps on crashing and crashing and crashing and crashing again and again and again. I'm just going to do these console commands and just like do a lot of these focuses just to like see this through. Um, words. Let's probably do this one. So, uh, cool. Uh, Norwegian comrades. A more equitable Norway has arisen and we will stand arm in arm with our socialist brethren there. The Norwegian and British people have much to offer each other. And as a gesture of our goodwill, we shall offer Norway generous economic assistance in exchange for some fully future cooperation. Further cooperation. We must do even more to assist our North American allies. The relationship we are building there will surely be the start of something far greater. So, oh, we can't even do that one. Well, we can do that one later on, but... Ah. With the light of socialism at the last shining upon the Emerald Isle, the time for reconciliation between our historically closely linked peoples has come. Not only should we send diplomats and politicians to Dublin, but also representatives of the most successful British syndicates to help Ireland along the path of progress and liberation of Canada. Across the Atlantic Ocean and the frigid north, the devil himself seemingly lies in wait. Canada and his lackeys will surely strike us with even the smallest opportunity. We cannot wait to be attacked. We are all ready now to liberate the people of Canada as we ever will be. And of course, another tech I read earlier, so boom. A state of the economy, cool. Uh, cool. And then, oh, our economy was enlarged in the time of leading up to the war. The extraordinary Congress now has to face a decision of either pushing for further expansion or prioritizing the healing of the wounds inflicted by the war. Aid or deprive citizens. Not bad. Onwards, British industry, build, build, build. Yeah, I like that one more. Cut out red tape, I read it earlier. Uh, demobilization. Yeah, I read this one before, so silence if the storm is gone. 
Cool. And while the South hasn't been neglected in the same degree as the other regions, its workers still live or will still underinvested in. By investing in the area and expanding the talent of the great syndicals workers there, they will be able to grow military industry rapidly. Northern e England military industry. It's time to make the north of England a great northern powerhouse. With enough investment, it will soon be creating arms to support those fighting for workers the world over. The RED. With the establishment of the Revolutionary Exportation Directory, we will finally be able to conduct clandestine operations to help the workers around the world in their struggle against their oppressors. Improve the Army. The Lewis M. 1936. The equipment of the soldiers of the Revolution can never be perfect enough. Time to improve upon her tried and tested designs for a mainline machine gun. Women soldiers. The quality of all comrades is necessary for the victory of the Revolution. It is unacceptable that then, right now, they are some more equal than others. Artillery. A focus on artillery research will lead to improved integration into our combat units. This is apparently a good thing. Or, innovations in tank design will make our forces both more maneuverable as well as more durable. What's not to love? And, like bomber research. Uh, while control of the skies is essential, what good is an air force if it does not assist the men on the ground? Light bombers, both specialized for direct support and destruction of hard targets, will allow our troops to fight that much more effectively in fire research. The enemy may focus on bomber research, but what good are improved payloads if they only hit the ground together with their burning bomber? New pilot training. Payload training in many nations, including our own, has been largely non-standard and reliant on enthusiasts turned instructors. By consulting with prominent pilots, we can develop an effective training regimen and aviation unions. Many syndicates around Britain operate small aerodromes for a variety of purposes. The larger these facilities should be given to state funding for expansion. Aviation Administration, or Aviation Fuel Administration. Without fuel, it does not matter how skilled our pilots are. It is likely that when our war comes, our fuel imports will be cut off, so we must work towards domestic sources of fuel. For the safety of the revolution, we must be dependent on capitalist suppliers of oil. They can't be trusted and controlled in the skies. For thousands of years, Britain could rely on the sea to keep it safe from any invaders. For the first time, we have to confront the real possibility of an airborne invasion. But we can rely on a doctrine well tested. Simply build as many as the next two together. More fighters, more bombers, and women's flying corps. Capable pilots are always in short supply, and women of our nation, whose support was so crucial to the success of the revolution, yearn for the freedom of the skies. While it certainly proved controversial, we've drafted a plan to create to allow women to serve in the RAF and support roles of free more men for combat. Ops Air Observer Corps. While London was terrorized with the Valkyrie by German airships, relatively little damage was done by these raids. Since then, however, the range and payload of aircraft has increased greatly. To counter that threat, we should create a volunteer organization which looks vigilantly for enemy planes that forewarn our interceptor and anti aircraft teams and radar. A new technology by the name of radar could help us avoid suffering what we want to inflict on our enemies and expand our units. Our program of aerodrome enlargement was of great benefit to the expansion of the Republican Air Force, but proved to be a substantial administrative burden. With the Air Force now well established, the Air Union program can can be expanded and I apologize guys like I, I I don't want to end the campaign now we have we did so well and I made sure that we were doing you know as generally as effective as we can but it's incredibly disappointing that we can't really finish this campaign because the game just keeps on crashing I don't know what's wrong with my Kaiser Redux or Kaiser yeah Kaiser Redux I know one time that it, we had to end the campaign just because uh, like there was an update, but there might be another update. I don't know. But at the same time, I'm kind of sick and tired of all these, you know, crashes. So I might just take a break from Kazuridex just because it's so disappointing. I wanted Mosley to do really well. I wanted really the revolution, but we are forced not to. But I guess we have to leave it there, my friends. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow in another campaign. And before I, before we go, here are all the casualties that if you really want to see them. Uh, there are those, no faction, of course, India, and the Entente. I mean, we would have done so well. We're so close to capitulating them, really. Istanbul Pact, and also, I do want to show you this one, last one, too. And there's the factions. Third International is looking very good. Belgrade Pact is looking good. China's now at front. Co-Prosperity Sphere, Entente, of course. And, of course, Third International in South America. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in another video.